Hi, my name is Tim Middleton. I'm a member of the Oracle Coherence Development Team. Welcome to the third screencast in the series talking about the new Manage Coherence Service functionality available in WebLogic Server. In this screencast, we're going to talk about the Maven integration available with this feature. Today, we are not going to go through the details of what Manage Coherence Servers are, as this is outlined in the first screencast. Please see that screencast for more details. There is also a second screencast that covers integration with Eclipse. For the agenda today, we'll have a quick Maven recap, we'll look at the WebLogic server and Coherence Maven support, and then have a demonstration of the functionality. Maven is a build and dependency system allowing for the configuration of project dependencies, third-party dependencies, and the definition of a build lifecycle. In terms of development, there are a number of areas Maven attempts to help with. Making the build process easy, providing a uniform build system, providing quality project information, providing guidelines for best practices development, and allowing for transparent migration to new features. Please see the URL below for more information. There are a number of parts to the Maven integration when using managed coherent servers. Firstly, there is a seamless integration between Oracle Homes and your Maven repository. This is through the Maven Sync plugin, which allows you to synchronize your Oracle Home with your Maven repository. WebLogic and Coherence artifacts can then easily be incorporated into Maven projects using standard mechanisms. There is also a standardization of naming conventions for ease of use. In addition to this, there are a number of plugins that have been developed to allow easy use of a grid archive, or GAR. The first is an archetype which generates a structure and some default files to provide a kickstart in developing a GAR. The second is a GAR packaging plugin which intercepts the Maven build process to automatically generate a GAR based upon the setup of the Maven project. It will build a GAR file placing all class files and configuration in the right places for it to be deployable. There is also support for the automatic generation of POF configuration files from your annotated objects on creation of a GAR. The existing WebLogic Maven deploy plugin has been updated to include the above functionality. Our example E application, which we deployed in the first screencast, includes a grid archive with all artifacts for running coherence, including POJOs and cache configuration files, and a web app with JSPs and Java beans. In terms of a Maven project pom.xml files, there's going to be four of those, a base pom.xml and one in each of the GAR, servlet and E directories. We'll now look at the configuration required for those files. Firstly, in the base pom file, we need to include the WebLogic Server Maven plugin. This then allows us to deploy our application directly from Maven. In the GAR POM file, we need to include the coherence libraries themselves, plus we can then configure whether we want to generate the POF configuration on deployment of the application. In this case here, we've set that to false. The servlet POM.xml needs to include a dependency for the grid archive, as well as a dependency for the coherence libraries themselves. Finally, in the earpom.xml file, we need to include a plugin to copy the GAR file to a JAR file and install into the local repository. The JAR file is then a provided dependency for the server for compilation. The WebLogic Server Maven Deploy plugin allows you to perform WebLogic deployment and maintenance tasks automatically within Maven projects. Some of these tasks include deployment and undeployment of applications, creation and modification of domains, listing of applications, starting, stopping servers, and starting, stopping applications. Let's now have a demonstration. What we're going to do is to install the Oracle Maven Sync plugin and then execute it on our Oracle WebLogic server home. We'll then create a new GAR archetype project and look at the artifacts that have been created. We'll then build the Manage Coherent Servers example from the first screencast using Maven. We'll then deploy this using the WebLogic Maven plugin. So for this demonstration, the first thing we're going to do is to source the WebLogic server environment. We do this by running the setwsenv. Next, we're going to install the Maven Sync plugin. Here we're using standard Maven install commands and pointing to the Maven Sync plugin POM, which is available under the middleware home. Once we've done that, we now need to execute it to synchronize the Oracle home with the Maven repository. We do that by running the following command.
This is now installing the coherence and web logic artifacts into your Maven repository. Now we have completed the install, let's firstly create a new GAR project. So by using the archetype generate and specifying a Maven GAR archetype with the version as well as the artifact ID, what we're going to do is to create the basis of a project that we can use to create a GAR. So now that this is finished, let's have a look at what we've had created. So the adventures cache directory. What we can see is we've got the basis or template of a grid archive project that we can add our sources to and start working with. Instead of working with this blank template, what I'm going to do is deploy the managed coherent servers example from the first screencast. So remember this project had uh, an ear file, which included a gar and a war file. So we can see here we've got our ear, our gar and our servlet. If we look at the base POM, we can also see we've included the Maven WebLogic plugin, which allows us to automatically deploy this to our WebLogic server instance. Let's now have a look at the POM for the GAR project. We can see now that we have a new packaging type of GAR for the grid archive. So now let's go back to the directory and let's do a maven clean install. This will then build our gar, our war and our ear file. During this if we wanted to automatically generate our pop configuration file then we can do that. Let's now have a look at our deployed ear. We can see it's built the ear, including the servlet and the gar. So our WebLogic server environment we're going to deploy to is here and we have got no deployments that are currently deployed. So now we can issue the Maven WLS deploy. This will then deploy our ear application to our nominated WebLogic server instance. That's done now. Let's go over to our console and look at the deployments. And we can now see we've got our example ear deployed with our example web app and our example gar as well. So let's now run this application. And as you can see, we have our same contact demo application as per the first screencast. Thank you for listening to these screencasts. I hope you enjoy the new managed coherent service functionality available in WebLogic Server.